this I am Gyanendra once again with you and today I am going to show you how to write journal entries for questions based on issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. So here we have the question number one. Mooncraft Limited purchased machinery for rupees to like 70,000 as per the agreement. The payment is to be made by issuing 5% debentures of rupees 100 each. You are required to calculate number of debentures to be issued and pass the necessary journal entries in the books of the company if the said debentures are issued at a discount of 10%, number B at a premium of 20%. Now let's go ahead here. First of all, you are asked to calculate the number of debentures when the debentures are issued at a discount and at a premiums so we have number of debenture is equal to i've given you the formula amount payable divided by issue price now number of debentures when it is issued at a discount when it is issued at a discount your number of debentures will be so what is the amount payable here uh, here we have to like 70,000 is the value of the machine purchased and the same amount has to be paid to the vendor so here the amount payable is to like 70,000 so here you have to like 70,000 divided by the issue price now how do we find issue price to find the issue price we will take this value what value is this face value yeah this is the face value and it is issued at a discount of 10 percent so the discount amount will be how much 10 percent is the discount so it is 10 percent of what value 10 percent of rupees 100 so 10 percent of rupees 100 will give you 10 rupees so the issue price will be face value minus the discount 10 so you have to like 70,000 divided by 90 so we have number of debenture 3,000 now number of debenture issued at a premium at a premium of 20 percent so here we have a premium of 20 percent so it is 20 percent of face value that is 100 which gives you to rupees 20 so this is the premium amount so the number of debenture is equal to we know the formula amount payable to like 70,000 divided by the issue price which is 100 plus 20 because this 20 is the premium so you have to like 70,000 divided by 120 which will give you 2,250 debentures now we go on to the journals books of so what is the name mentioned here books of mooncraft limited here mooncraft 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 limited journals journals now let's see what does the question tell you the question says pass the necessary journal entries now what are the necessary journal entries here so if we go back to the question we what do we find we find there is a purchase of as machinery so we know the asset purchased so purchase of machinery so we'll make the entry for machinery purchased and another necessary journal entry is the payment made so we need to make two entries one for purchase of machinery another payment made to the vendor by issue of debentures and debentures are issued at a discount and also at a premium so we have to make separate entry for issue of debentures at a discount and at a premium so here we go 
so the first entry for purchase of asset the name of the asset here is machinery so we have the entry machinery account debit and the value of the machinery is two like seventy thousand here so you have to like seventy thousand to vendor account since the name of the vendor is not mentioned so we need to write vendor account and here the value is the same amount to like seventy thousand this is being machine purchased now we'll have the entry for the payment so payment entry is when debentures issued at a discount debentures issued at a discount so you have the entry vendor account debit now since there is a discount so discount will be debited discount on issue of debentures account debit to now let's see what percentage to here we have 5% debenture so to 5% debentures account now we come to the value here so we have the number of debenture issued is 3000 so you have 3000 into 100 that gives you 3 lakhs here vendor account will have the same amount as there as in the above thing so it is to like 70000 then discount amount is 3000 into 10 that means it is 30,000 so being 3,005% debenture issued to the vendor at 10% discount. Now the next entry is for writing of discount on issue of debentures. So here we have yes do you know the entry yes it is written off by transferring it to statement of profit and loss so we have statement of p and l debit to discount on issue of debenture account and yes, do you remember what is the amount of discount? Yes, it is 30,000. So this 30,000 should be written off. 30,000. Being discount on issue of debenture written up. now we'll go on to the option b in the option b debentures are issued at a premium issued at a premium debentures are issued to whom yes yeah to the vendor so you have vendor account debit to five percent is the name of the debenture five percent debentures account and since it is issued at a premium so we have to SPR account what is SPR securities premium reserve account so the amount for the vendor will be the agreed price or amount payable which is to like 70,000 then debenture amount will depend on the number of debenture issued so here the number of debenture issued is 2250 so here you have 2250 at the face value 100 rupees so this gives you 2 lakhs 25000 then spr 
SPR we have already calculated. So here we have SPR 20 rupees. So 20 rupees into the number of debenture. So 2250 into 20 will give you 45,000. So this is the entry for issue of debenture to the vendor at a premium. So this is the end here for this question. Now we take the question number 2. X limited to cover assets of rupees 7 lakhs and liabilities of rupees 60,000 of way limited for the purchase consideration of rupees 6 lakh 60,000. X limited paid the purchase consideration by issuing 9% debentures of rupees 100 each at 10% premium. Past journal entries and the books of X limited. So let's have the journal now. This is books of X limited. So we have books of X limited journals. There are assets, liabilities and purchase consideration. Assets needs to be debited. So we'll put on the debit side. So here we have sundry assets account debit to sundry liabilities account. And the name of the vendor is the seller of the business is we limited here. We limited. So we'll write down here to W Y V limited account. Now what is the amount of the assets? The assets amount is 7 lakhs. So let's put here 7 lakhs. The amount for the liability is 60,000. So let's put 60,000 here. And the purchase consideration mentioned here is 6 lakhs 60,000. So let's put here 6 lakhs 60,000. Now these two are on the credit side. So the total of this is 7 lakhs 20,000. So we find the difference of 20,000 on the debit side. So we have the balancing figure or the difference amount on the debit and this difference amount as per the journal that I've given you before will be goodwill account. So you have goodwill account debit being assets and liabilities liabilities taken over and purchase consideration there on so this is the narration that we have here now next journal for payment now let's see how the payment has been made so here we see Purchase consideration by issuing 9% debentures of rupees 100 each at 10% premium. That means the debentures are issued at a premium. So we have the payment entry. The payment is made to whom? The payment is made to with the vendor. So we have a second entry WYV limited account debit to what is the name of the debenture here 9 percent so to 9 percent debentures account and debentures are issued at a premium so you have to spr account okay amount for way limited is uh, same as this one six like sixty thousand so we have six like sixty thousand now before writing the amount for debenture we need to find out the number of debenture issued so let's find out here number of debenture is equal to the formula amount payable which is six lakh sixty thousand by the issue price what is the issue price issue price is face value plus the premium and here we see the premium of 10%. So 10% of on this 100 is 10 rupees. So this becomes 6,60,000 divided by 110 gives you 6,000 debenture. 
so the number of debentures given to the vendor is 6000 so here we come back so to 9% we will have 6000 into 100 so gives you 6 lakhs 6 lakhs here and SPR is number of debentures 6 lakhs into 10% means 10 rupees here 10% of 100 10 rupees so you have 60,000 so go to write being 6,009% debentures issued to the vendor at 10% premium this is the entry done now let's go to question number 3 X limited issued 2000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each credited as fully paid to the promoters for their services and issued 1000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each credited fully paid to the underwriters for the underwriting commission journalize these transactions so we have the journal so this is x limited here so this is books of x limited journals so you have the first journal 2000 debentures have been issued to the promoter for their services so the first journal is goodwill account goodwill account David to promoters to promoters account now how many debentures have been issued 2000 debentures of rupees 100 each so the value will be here 2000 into 100 gives you 2 lakhs so this is the value of the debentures for the service received from the promoter so this we can write down being the cost of company incorporation corporation company incorporation so next journal is for the issue of debenture for this credited one issue of debentures to the promoter so you have the entry promoters account debit to now name of the debenture so it is 10 percent debenture so you have to 10 percent debentures account so here you will have the same value 2 lakhs here also you have the same value 2 lakhs being 10 percent debentures allotted to the promoters to the promoters okay so this is done now the second part related to the underwriters here 1010% debentures are issued to the underwriters as underwriting commission so you have the entry underwriting commission commission account debit to underwriters to underwriters account now what is the underwriting commission 1000 into 100 will be the underwriting commission so this is 1000 into 100 so will give you 1 lakh being the underwriting being the underwriting 
commission commission due being the underwriting commission due now next entry is for allotment of shares to the underwriters so you have the entry underwriters underwriters account debit to now the name of the debenture 10% debenture of rupees 100 each so to 10% debentures account so the value will be 1 lakh being issue of 1010% debentures now the last entry is for transferring the underwriting commission to profit and loss statement so you have here statement statement of profit and loss debit to underwriting commission account and the amount of underwriting commission is 1 lakh so this 1 lakh amount will be transferred to the profit and loss statement being the underwriting commission written off so here this is the end of the journal hi guys thank you all for being